The word anarchy is often misunderstood as chaos and violence, but it actually means rule by no one. In other words, people are welcome to agree to supervise each other and to make rules. People may not rule over other people who do not explicitly agree to be ruled over. Anarchism is a philosophy that advocates for a society without a ruling class or government. One common misperception about anarchy is that it means every man for himself or survival of the fittest. However, this assumption is false because people can and do cooperate and organize without government. We see many examples in everyday life. In contrast, government always constitutes a ruling class that uses violence to enforce its laws and regulations. Anarchists believe in voluntary cooperation and organization, where people work together without being forced to do so. Other people might choose not to work with each other, and that is just fine as well. The absence of a ruling class does not mean that people cannot defend themselves against violent criminals or foreign invaders. In fact, everyone already has the right to use defensive force, and even professional protectors would only have the same rights as everyone else in a stateless society. A common fear is that smaller, private gangs would take over in the absence of government. This fallacy is misguided because private street gangs and organized crime exist mainly because of government. In a free society, thugs and thieves would not have any black markets to take over. Think about the things that black markets encompass. Prostitution, drug sales, murder, kidnapping. Without a black market, would these things continue at the same level they do today? I don't think so. Finally, the presence of government increases the chances of people being robbed, while the lack of authoritarian ruling class makes the people less susceptible to being extorted and dominated. To learn more about this philosophy, read The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose.